started broadcast and started recording. So welcome back from the Java Land conference. We're here for the um, night hacking live stream. And we have a new guest now, Chris. Yeah, Hi. please introduce yourself and <laughs> say us, tell us what is Panama behind the walls. OK. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Christoph Engelbert. I'm coming from Germany, working for Hazelcast as manager of developer relations. That means I'm basically working with the community, flying around the world, talking to conferences, getting people engaged. Um, that's, that's about that's it. Um, Panama itself, or Project Panama, that's what it is called, um, is the idea of replacing the old JNI with, with a cleaner, more intuitive level um, for interaction between the Java and the JVM mm -hmm. uh, and, and the um, C or C++ native mm -hmm. libraries, for example. So doing things like kernel calls or library calls. OK, so um, since I know that most of the de developers haven't used JNI too much, which They're probably happy about that. Exactly. <laughs> um, so could you just uh, briefly uh, explain why we need that and why we should care as Java developers, like in general? <laughs> sure. So um, I think the there, there are different angles. Um, the first one is there is still stuff that is faster in C or C++ than you can do it in, in the JVM. Thankfully enough, it is not true that the JVM itself is always slow. Um, thanks but, to Hotspot. Um, thanks to Hotspot. But yeah, there is still a lot of stuff which can be done faster because of things like pointer arithmetic or something like that. Um, so that is the first one where you want to implement an algorithm in C++ and you want to call in. Mm -hmm. um, in the past, you did this with JNI. Uh, you had to write a C, um, C binding in, in or a binding in C, and you had to tell the JVM how to actually call that. It was kind of a well pain in the whatever, right? Um, so uh, that is where we're coming from, and and people normally hate that. I think I've seen one developer they actually thought that JNI is a great API <laughs> um, in like. That um, wasn't um, me? No, it wasn't me either. Uh, I think it was like in the last five years or something. Um, so the way it is supposed to work, so Charles Snutter, the guy from JRuby, he created the Java native runtime, which is a binding. You create an interface, and you say, please bind that interface. Just use the, the uh, method names in the interface and bind it to the underlying whatever, for example, kernel. Uh, the, the Linux kernel. So you say, I have a get PID, or I have an interface, and that interface has a get PID method, and please bind that to the get PID call in the Linux kernel. Um, so that was where it all started. He built that for JRuby, because in JRuby they have this foreign function interface yeah. kind of things, or not in JRuby, in, gen in, in Ruby in, in general. Um, and that was where, where, we, where the guy started off, and uh, they took the idea. Um, there will probably be some kind of like like a like API, mm -hmm. um, but in the in the current um, prototypes, they all talk about the the low level API, which builds on on the Java eight method handles. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a different way of of actually looking uh, look up a method handle as a native call, so you don't have those um, what was it uh, public native yeah. blah 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 method anymore. But you actually just say, okay, I have a method handle. That is my method type. I know it returns an int. Um, and you say, OK, uh, uh, method handles, look up, yeah. find native. Uh, and then you'd say, OK, that's my method name, this is my method type, and please bind it to whatever is there, wh which actually um, meets the requirements. Yeah. And then you can just call it like every other method handle. It gets inlined, it gets all the nice, funky stuff we got in Java 8. Yeah, sounds sounds really usable and like, like a yeah. good idea and a good feature. Absolutely, and it will make things way easier. And there is one more interesting thing um, that will not only work for C, but they're really working hard on getting C++ as well. So okay. getting all this name mangling right. So also with, with objects and then generics from? Yeah, I mean I'm not 100% sure. I think it will work. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, Paul Sandoz showed a live demo last week at DevOps US. And I had something in peril, so I couldn't see that. Um, so that was very unfortunate for me because <laughs> I think he showed some C++ code, and I guess that it actually was working with objects, mm. yeah, which would be pretty, which would be pretty cool, like binding a Java object to C++ <laughs> or right. whatever they Majorly, they're trying yeah. to do there. That's quite some overhead. Yeah, but let's see. It definitely sounds sounds very interesting. <laughs> and yeah, one one last thing: the why behind the walls. <laughs> 
um, the original title was uh, Project Panama, um, the new Java native, mm -hmm. which kind of made sense. Kinda but when, sense, I created, yeah. <laughs> when I created the slide deck, I came up with all those ideas of using uh, Game of Thrones for all the <laughs> different slides. And uh, in the end, I mean, we're still looking behind the wall. We're looking behind the Java wall, yeah. which is native code. So it kind right. of made sense. And <laughs> That was that was the main idea why I just changed the title right now. Awesome, great. Yeah. So, any last thing you wanna share with the with the live audience? Um, great conference. Um, a big thank you for all the conference organizers. Uh, fourth year, fourth time. A great conference. And um, I second that. yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> so you're missing a lot for everybody oh yeah, who's not absolutely. there. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right. So, Chris, thanks thanks a lot for the interview. Thanks for having me.